When Pixelogic acquired Sculptress, they hired its developer, Thomas Peterson, which was a good thing. Actually, it was a smart move. They gradually integrated some of its key features into ZBrush to make sculpting more intuitive and accessible, especially for beginners. And here are some of the main features that made the leap from Sculptress into ZBrush. Of course, Dynamic Tessellation, aka Sculptress Pro. This is the most significant feature adopted from Sculptress, which allowed users to sculpt freely without worrying about topology. In ZBrush, this was rebranded as Sculptures Pro Mode, which was introduced later on. So it lets artists add details exactly where needed by dynamically adding or reducing mesh density based on brush strokes without needing to subdivide the entire model. In addition, Sculptures had easy to use mirror symmetry, which influenced how symmetry tools were made more attractive in ZBrush updates, including live symmetry preview lines and easy toggling. We can also mention the smooth behavior of brushes, which influence some ZBrush brushes as well, particularly those in the Sculptures Pro mode, which can handle surface transitions, especially in organic modeling. And although ZBrush had tools like Dynamesh before Sculptures Pro, the latter offered a more fluid and brush-based alternative. Basically, it allowed for a real-time remeshing, which complemented Dynamesh, by not requiring any pauses or actions between strokes. And one of the noticeable things we can talk about is simplicity and accessibility. You see, Sculptures was known for being incredibly simple, just a sphere and a few brushes. And ZBrush integrated this philosophy to a certain extent through UI elements like ZBrush Core and ZBrush Lite, inspired by Sculptures' beginner-friendly interface.